Hi, I'm Victoria. I live here in Northwest Montana. My husband and I retired six months ago and moved here from Boise, Idaho. So it's very different. We moved from the desert to um, the mountains, basically, very much the mountains. I am uh, Victoria Jean W on Instagram and Victoria Jean on Ravelry. I started this podcast because last year, um, although I am retired and I have lots of time to knit, I found myself starting a lot of knitting gifts shortly before Christmas and I have to mail them all. So that, that caused some stress. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it was some stress, but I'd like to avoid that this year. And so I would like to get on my Christmas gift knitting much earlier, like now. So um, my plan is to get one knitted Christmas gift finished um, per month. And then I'll be all wrapped up and December should just be nice and relaxing and pleasant. That's what I would like. <laughs> I would like to just really enjoy <laughs> the holidays. So what I have going so far is I have um, a... Oh, Spoiler alert, if you're in my family, don't watch this video. Unless you want to know what you're getting for Christmas. So the first thing uh, I have started is a pair of gloves for my mother-in-law. I just really started knitting gloves last year and really enjoy it. So the pattern I'm using is the Fruit Loop Gloves by Natasha Sills. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. The yarn I'm using is Dusk by Hedgehog Fibers. And I love this. <clears throat> I love the yarn and I love the Fruit Loop pattern. These gloves fit so nicely. Of course, I have measured them for to fit my fingers, but I have a pretty regular size hand, so I think it works. It, um, I just love them. They're nice gloves. So I have one finished and I have a good start on another. So yay, here comes Christmas. Pretty excited about it. <clears throat> I also do like to knit for myself. Um, something I finished recently was the Glacier Park Cowl by Caitlin Hunter. Uh, that's a $4 pattern on Ravelry, but well worth the money. Uh, here's mine. It is a very pretty pattern. <clears throat> it fits great. I love burgundy, I love gray, so the contrasts work out really nicely. I like it. It's a great, it's a great pattern. <clears throat> well worth the money. Uh, it calls for fingering yarn, and I went to uh, Michael's and bought what I thought was fingering yarn, but it wasn't. It was fine fingering. But um, my cowl turned out just an inch smaller than what she says her size, she expects her size to turn out, and so it was fine. It worked great. I like kind of a, a little a little bit tighter cowl. Keeps you a little warmer in my opinion. Something else I like to do is I love to knit socks. It's like one of my favorite things to knit. I think because they seem so useful. They're very useful. So what I have going now is um, the Tootsie Roll Socks by Lisa K. Ross. Another free pattern on Ravelry. Um, I got the first one finished. Isn't that cute? Really, really cute socks. Really like it. Um, I do toe up most of the time and I do a fish lips kiss heel. So I usually, I basically just used her main pattern for this. It's such an easy knit. I can watch TV while I, while I knit this one. It's super easy. The yarn is Splatter by Zen Yarn Garden. Great yarn. Very nice. Very soft. I love it. <laughs> They're, they're really nice. So another thing I decided to do for Christmas gifts this year is I have three grandchildren. I have a granddaughter who is about two and a half now. I have a grandson who is about nine months. And I have a second grandson who was born in November this past year. So very young grandchildren. I'm very excited about them. And um, 
I like to knit, I like to knit them some toys. And so there's, uh, I've been doing this pattern, another free pattern on Ravelry, which I love, called Gingerbread Boy by Sarah Elizabeth Kellner. I haven't got too far on my gingerbread boys, but I'm excited um, by the look of them. I've got a little brown one um, going. It's pretty cute. I haven't done the features yet or the little details, but that's coming. I thought I would get them all knitted up first. I did some little speckles on this one just from a suggestion on the website that or her little pattern that I thought was cute. So I'll get little faces on them and um, some little details, probably a little bow on their necks. That'll be cute. But I love knitting for my grand grandchildren. So here's a question for you. How do you like to knit? I mean, where do you like to knit? And how, I guess. Um, I have a, in, when we retired, we bought a larger home, which is kind of crazy, but we did. And um, so I ended up with my own knitting room, which is just freaking fantastic as far as I'm concerned. So I have all my yarn down here, um, my pattern books. Um, I have a table I knit on. I have a chair. I have a beautiful window with a great view, uh, lots of light, and uh, I love it. What I usually do when I'm down here in my knitting room all by myself is I like to listen to books on tape. This year, I bought this little Amazon uh, Alexa tap thing. New to me, but pretty cool. Um, and with it and my iPod and my local library, I can listen to all the books on tape I like. And I really enjoy that. So I often do that. I do that most of the time, I think. Um, Sometimes I'll bring my husband's iPad down here and I'll watch knitting podcasts, which are great too, because they're entertaining and I can knit along with them. Pretty easy to do. Sometimes I'll listen to music. When I want to be sociable, <laughs> I'll actually go upstairs at night and sit with my husband and watch TV. And that's when I like to have a really easy project going so that I don't have to think very hard about it. If it's... um something I need to, if we're watching something I, I need to, on TV that I really need to pay attention to, fine, I'll do that and put down my knitting for a few minutes. <laughs> I really, I really enjoy my knitting. It's really been fun. Um, one of my uh, podcasts I like to watch and, and a friend on Instagram, uh, Hannah Florian, she has a nice little podcast. Uh, she recently finished herself a light flax uh, cardigan. The pattern is by Tin Can Knits, another free one on Ravelry. And I have so much um, one skein of pretty fingering yarn because I'm a sucker for fingering yarn. I just, I love it. And that's what that pattern uses is fingering yarn. And Hannah knit her sweater, very beautiful sweater, with um, different skeins of fingering yarn that she just kind of, you know, blended into each other. And I thought, what a great idea. I just love being inspired like that. So I am playing, that's my next project for myself, <laughs> is a cardigan. Um, not necessarily that I need another one. I knit this one, this was probably the second sweater I knit for myself, and I love it. It's very warm. And being in Montana, it's been great. I can pull out all my sweaters and put them on. Uh, this morning we were at minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit when we got up, and yes, that's chilly. So I have to spend uh, a little time upstairs while I warm up my knitting room every morning so it's ready for me to knit. So anyway, um, I think it'll be fun to share my Christmas projects along the way with some of the other things I knit uh, in between because I always have two or three projects going. There's another question for you. Are you a one project person? Do you uh, like to finish up what you have going and then before you go on to the next? Or do you like to jump around projects? I used to be a one at a time person. And then I realized it's kind of fun to jump around a little bit just to keep things interesting. At the same time, it can get a little crazy. Um, for instance, my knitting table can get just wacko with too many projects going on. And that's something I'm going to try to clean up this year too is get some things done so that will feel really good 
So anyway, uh, leave a comment. I hope to hear from you and um, probably see you in a few weeks or a month or so or whenever I feel like posting again. <laughs> Bye from Montana.